What's good? It's your boy Sir Royal Play back with another video. Okay, today we are here. We are back playing Noble Knights or Infernobles. I know it's been a while, you know, life been life, in, but you know, we back up at it and we back right in time because Infernobles is coming out in Duel Links and this is one of my favorite decks. The new cards we end up getting, you know, we got the Go Charles. Basically, our end board, we want to always try to get the Charles, which is a nine target pop on our opponent's turn. If we equip the card, we can get that nine target pop off real easy. And we do that by summoning Captain Roland. So, Captain Roland, he's a Synchro 5. So, and his, he has a quick effect of during either player turn, we can equip them to any warrior monster on our field so that's why we'll equip them to charles then that'll give charles the pop so then we get a non-target pop really easy also when captain roland is summoned he can send an equip card to the graveyard and add a warrior monster to your hand so you can have a follow-up and also charles during the end phase he can equip the equip card from your hand or graveyard and also equip the fire warrior monster from your deck so the card that you send to the graveyard with captain Rowling, you can equip it during the end phase with charles so he can have whatever equipped that you want it to be so but the equip we're using is excalibur because excalibur is a not it makes your noble knight monster not targeted Finally got Heritage of the Chalice, which is a Noble Knight Searcher. You search the Noble Knights and the Noble Arms, so whatever you need, you can get. And also, when a Noble Knight is destroyed by battle, it re it adds itself back to the hand if it has a Noble Arms equipped to it. Then the Infra Noble Arms that we got is the Rindle and Joyous, which the Rindle is really good. Probably one of the best cards because it's just a generic on fire warrior search searcher you gotta be a level five or fire warrior that you can search you can also equip it to your opponent's monsters and still get that search off so if you go second you use activate the durand equip to one of their monsters then you can search one of your um starters that you need also when the monster that it is equipped to is sent to the graveyard you can special summon a fire warrior level five or lower from your graveyard you got joyous joyous is basically it adds a fire warrior from your graveyard back to your hand when the monster is equipped to is sent to the graveyard it lets you special summon a fire warrior from your hand and then the other cards that we got are ogier which is it can send a fire warrior when it's normal summon you can send a fire warrior to the graveyard all of the level four Infernobles has a equipped effect from the graveyard they can equip to a warrior monster on your field. And then when Ogier is equipped it to a card, it makes that monster can be destroyed by card effects. We also get Magus. It's basically a recycler. You shuffle three cards from your graveyard back into the deck, then draw a card. And when it's equipped it to a monster, it makes it so it cannot be destroyed by battle. Which is okay. And then we got one of the best cards. Renaud. Renaud. As long as you have a fire warrior on the um, field. You can special summon this card from your hand. Which is good. And when he special summon. He's considered. Uh, he's treated as a tuner. Which you need in order to go into your synchro 5 plays. Because um, all the noble knights are level 4. And since he's level 1. Then you're able to go into your five, so that's how you go into rolling. And also, when he special summoned, he can add an equip card from your equip card or a fire warrior from your graveyard to your hand, which is really good. So the card that you send with Ogier, you can get it right back with Renaud, which is good. They work hand to hand together, and that's how you get to the big boss monster, Gary. Um, you can send gear free with Ogier, then Roland, you can special summon it to add the gear free to your hand. So you got a consistent way of getting to gear free if you got these two. 
which is good. And then the deck is full of searchers. So you got Heritage is a searcher, Durando is a searcher, then you got Rhoda. Playing with Majorata in it just because um, there's certain hands that probably would be a brick if you didn't play Majorata. The only time you really brick with Majorata is if you got like three normal summons. So if you got Majorata, Magus, and Ozier in your hand, that's probably the one time that you'll brick. But other than that, Majorata is pretty much a safe normal summon. I'm about to just do some test hands and see how they play. So I'm gonna do a couple going first hands, a couple going seconds. And let's see how it's looking. All right, we're about to start off going first. I forgot to say that the skill we playing is Salamandra and Phoenix. It's um, the typical gear free skill. So, and just so happen they do got this inside of YGO Omega. So I'm, I'm able to test it out, which is good. Um, so yeah. Like, this is one of them situations where you got Madrat and you can have two equips since you can search another equip with um, Heritage. So, you'll be good. So, this is the Madrat play. And we got the Gear Free in the hand, so we're guaranteed to be able to have Gear Free. So, yeah, we'll start off with Madrat. Equip Julissi's to Madrat. Activate the effect of Madrat to search for Ogier. Sending that to the gray, activate Ogier effect. Ogier will send, um, we'll send gear free to the gray because we can have a follow up now. Since we already got one, we still can get another one. Um, for heritage, we will search for Durandal. Activate the Durandal, equip it into Ogier. To search for Renard. And then, since we got a fire, we can special summon Renard. Then, Renard effect adds cards to the hand. We'll add back the gear free for a follow up, and we're going to summon one. But first, we'll go into Renard, or we're going to Rolling. Rolling effect. Will uh, trigger in the end phase to let me send a equip to the grave and add a warrior to my hand. And then we'll synchro into one more time going into Charles, which is good. So now we can use the skill Salamandra and Phoenix. So we reveal the gear free, set the Salamandra, sending the other one to the grave. Then we can activate the effect to gear free the special summon itself by banishing the equip. So now we got the gear free to equip it with the Salamandra. Don't want to use his effect yet. And so we got our monster to get right there. And then let's set up our Charles in the end phase. So in the end phase, we want to use rolling effect first to send Excalibur to the grave. And then we can add a card to the hand. Since we already got a gear free, we can just grab a follow-up. Um, uh, we'll grab a follow-up or not. And then, yeah, use Charles Effect to equip the Excalibur. And then you can add a Fire Warrior, or equip the Fire Warrior from your deck. So we equip Magus. And now we want to activate um, Charles's effect to pop a card, but and we're gonna pop our own card and we're gonna pop Magus. And since we pop Magus, Magus effects triggered because when it's sent to the graveyard, it can shuffle back three cards, um, three noble knights or noble arms back from your deck or back from your graveyard or banish, and um, then you draw a card. So we'll get the send back both of the equips and we're not. And now we got an equip. So we got a pretty, we got a monster in the gate and a, a non target pop. Because we can use the quick effect of rolling in the graveyard. Feel like they ain't got too much, but during the end phase, we can 
equipped the Oh dang, I was supposed to pop I was supposed to pop a card, but it's cool. I messed that up. But we got enough again, so we just attack the game. Ain't even gotta worry about it. And we're gonna go first again. And remember, you ain't gotta worry about the um my opponent in this because the AI here not really that good. So it's just I'm just showing off the hands that we got and the possible plays that you can do. All right, let's get a pop in. So this hand, we got these two can get us to Charles and we already got the gear free. So this is another easy hand that we don't even really need you. So we'll normal summon you to send Dorindo to the grave. Then we'll special summon the Renard. Renard will get back the Dorindo. And then we will equip the Dorindo to the Ogier and not use Dorindo effect to search, but we will use his graveyard effect because we're gonna synchro into Roland and that will trigger um, Dorindo's effect to special summon the monster from the graveyard and we will special summon Ogier and then also Roland effect for the end phase is activated. So now we can go into Charles. And then all we got left to do, now we can just go into Gear Free. Reveal the Gear Free, set the Salad Manager. And send that one to the grade. Then we can special summon the Gear Free, banish you. We got you on the field and equip the saddle manager the gear free. So we got our monster to get active. And we got our, our non target pop since uh, the rolling is in the graveyard. We can go to the end phase. We got to follow up Julissi's end phase, rolling effects, and Excalibur. Add a card to our hand. We can add the gear for you for a follow up gear free. And then um, Charles effect to equip the Excalibur and oh darn I messed that up I must have pressed no on that other effect then by mistake which is cool Your resonators, he about to do his thing. I normally let them do what they want to do. Well, we don't want that to be active, so we will chain rolling effect to equip itself, and then that triggers Charles to trigger our division. Now we don't want to chain it, we want to destroy that before we don't get a pop. And then he tried to use a uh, rising dragon effect, but we are going to negate that. Sending the rolling back to the grave, and then we good. And a uh, Charles effect does trigger in your opponent's end phase too, so you can equip the card from your graveyard again. So we can equip the Rindo, so we can have a search on our turn. And you can equip the Fire Warrior if you want to, but we're not going to. So now I'm able to search and get the search off. I can grab whatever I need. Um, I really don't need nothing with this hand. So I just grab OJ. And then I can just, to make sure we ain't worried about his back row, I will equip Joyous. That it triggers the Charles. And then we can pop his background. So it's a floodgate. So we ain't gotta worry about that. And then we can just attack for again. Charles attack. Gear free to attack. Just like that. Alright. 
right, this hand is oh this, this hand is good. We got this is full combo too because we got the Dorindo, Ogier, and Renard. So we good with this hand too. So right here you would normally summon the Ogier. Ogier will send the gear free to the grave. Then we can special summon the Renard. Renard will add back the gear free. And then we will equip the Dorindo to um, the Ogier, and then do not use gear um, Dorindo's effect to search because we're about to use the graveyard effect. So we'll synchro into Rolling. That it triggers Dorindo's effect to special summon a card from the graveyard, special summon the Ogier, and then you can activate Rolling's effect for the end phase. And then we can go into Charles. And then we can use the skill to go into gear free. We grab Salamandra. Send in that. Activate its effect, banish that. To go into gear free. Equip the Salamandra. And then we can go into the end phase. In phase, we'll send the Excalibur to the grave to add a gear free to the hand, and then Charles will equip the gear or the Excalibur and equip the Magus. Then we'll trigger Charles' effect to the pop a card. We'll pop the Magus, Magus effect, send those three back. And we get another draw. So we got a full combo back again just in case they would blow up the board or what they do. Oh, we let him do what he's doing. Oh, he's just playing Resonators again. Okay, like we, since we know how to play around Resonators, we will chain the Rolling that triggers the Charles. Charles Pop his equip and then his rising dragon effect will be negated by gear free gear free will send the world into the grave so he had a cosmic which is cool because we can go into another gear free but let's get rid of his back row first so we need an equip card so we'll go roll into grabbing the clip um, oh, Rolla can grab ba Banish Eclipse too. I forgot about that. So we can grab back to Salamandra. And then the Quip. Got the Charles. Triggers Charles to pop a card. And then we can just go for game. Just like that. We got another hand. We got the Gear Free, Roll, Renard, and. Rota, so that's pretty much full combo right there. All we gotta do is grab Ogier. Normal summon to Ogier. Ogier send Rendo to the grave. Special summon to Renard. Renard adds back the the Durendo to the hand. Equipped it to one of the monsters. So then we can go into Roland. That triggers the Rendu. The special summon the Ogier. And roll an effect for the end phase. So now we can go into Charles. And then we can use the skill to go into to set up Gear Free. Gear Free, we set the Salamandra. Send the other one special summon the gear free by banishing and equipped. And then Yeah, 
Then we can equip the salamandra to the gear free. And we can go to the end phase. End phase, Roland, send Excalibur. And add a gear free to the hand for a follow up next turn. And then Charles effect equipped the Excalibur and equip the Magus that a trigger Charles to pop a card will pop the Magus Magus will send back those three for us to have a get a draw card and we went into a heritage so we all set for next time he got a normal summon and he's playing for a higher, so I can't I can do a, the quick effect pop to kill him, but we ain't worried. We can just negate negate his um special summon. And then he had um Mayhem for higher, which is cool. On summon we will trigger Roland to equip itself to trigger Charles to pop. So now he shouldn't have nothing, which is good. And in the end phase, we can equip the card, which there's no cards we want to really equip. Okay, so we can equip Durando before we can pop his back row. Let's see what it is. Charles, pop a card. He got a floodgate, so yeah, we good. And then we can just go into gear free. We'll banish the Salamandra to go into another gear free. And go for gear. Charles attack. Gear free for game. Alright, we get one last going first hand. Okay, finally. We finally bricked. Well, it's not a brick because we still can go into um We still can go into gear free and equip Julissies to it. And then if they find a way to kill Julis if they find a way to kill um Gear free, we can still it'll be equipped to Julissi's. Then Julissi can special summon the other gear free that's in our hand, which is actually pretty, pretty cool. So we could just use the skill, special summon the for we can special summon the gear free. Then equip the salamandra, so we got our monster to get. And then, uh, actually, and I forgot because with the um, the skill, you can actually normal summon a, this other gear free. But um, in this, you in YG Omega, it doesn't have the it doesn't have the skill corrected where you can normal summon this. You can normal summon it for just one tribute, but I ain't trying to tribute one just to do it. So. And um, Duel Link, she'll be able to just the normal summon another gear free right here. But since we can't do that here, we'll just do it like this. I could normal summon. Well, I should still normal summon her. Huh? But I'll settle just to be safe. He playing for hires, which is cool. We'll negate that effect. And then he didn't have nothing, so he, he got the cosmic. So our negate is offline now. But because we did draw into uh, Renard, we can get us and quit right back. And we can get our banished um, Joyous. But he used Floodgate, which is cool. But we still got another gear free in our hand, so we can normal summon him. We can tribute. Mm, this lets you trip you for one, which is cool. Um, so yeah, then we get equipped to Joyous. So now we're marching to get us live, but we got a clear board, so we got game. Let's go second now. Let's see what we do, how we play against some disruptions. This, even though this AI is not all that good. They still normally have um, Cosmic Cyclones and Floodgate Trap Holes, so let's see how we play around those. 
All right. Um, don't know what his back row is. So let's check and see if it's cosmic. So we'll normal summon. Well, equip the Randall to his card, and it'll be in cosmic. So that's fine, and that lets us know we gotta go this way. So then we can go into Renard. Renard can get back the Durando, which is actually kind of crazy. And equipped it to the Magus. So now we can go. Actually got everything we need to go into Charles. And now to trigger Durando. Also trigger uh, Durando special summon the Magus back. And then we can also trigger the roller for the grit for the end phase. So special summon the Magus. Now we can go on the Charles. And then we can use the skill to go into gear free. Set up our board with some equips and then banish one. Special summon the gear free, equip him there, and add a trigger. Well, I don't even need to do that because I could have. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just attack or pop that. I could have, like, I shouldn't have did that. I should have, like, stole it then. I could have boosted him up a little bit more. But. But it's fine doing it this way. So he gonna have one more turn, which is cool. Since he did increase his life points. Oh no, that's game. I can't do math. Just like that. Alright, we about to go second again. This hand is interesting. Up against fur hires. With one background. Alright, we got two heritage, which doesn't really help us. You know, let's start off with Dorinda. So he didn't do anything, which means he probably got a floodgate or it's mayhem for hire. Um, so let's see. We'll activate the Dorinda to search for to search for Renaud. And then we'll use heritage. Then we'll use heritage to go for um Madrat. Madrat? He got a flood gate. Which is fine-ish. Yeah, it's fine. Uh because we can still go use the skill. Revealing the gear free to set this out of Mandros and the other one. Banish one to special summon the gear free. And then we can um equip you there. And then we can get back um, when our equips were not. And we will we'll do it like this, okay. And then we'll equip Excalibur and uh bro, we gotta equip the ah, I forgot this only uh Noble Knights. Which is fine, which is fine, that's cool. And we can go into battle phase. All right, so we will, which one do we want? We don't mind him staying alive, but we can get rid of them too. So we'll attack in the beat, trigger gear free. To steal his monster. So we go into him. And he just got one more turn.
And since that a trigger is heritage, which we really don't even need, but because we already have one in our hand. But as you see, you can do it when a noble knight is equipped with an equipped card that is destroyed by battle. You can add it back to the hand. And that's a good way to see it in action. I wasn't even even planning for that. I just misplayed. But let's go for game. Um, there's not really too much I'm worried about because this probably could be another floodgate. So we just go straight to battle phase. Just like that. All right, we're going to go second again. Just got one back row to worry about. Um, we pretty much got everything we need in our hand. Because all we just, uh, yeah, we pretty much got everything we need in our hand. We don't even need much. Because we could just use Heritage to grab um, Dorendo. I just thought about it because this could be a floodgate because if it's a floodgate then we actually pretty bad worst off um dang dang let's see so we'll start off with Ogier this time yeah it's a floodgate so next turn we should be able to go into um we can special summon a Renov or we can get back to get free to our hand and actually do something if you don't kill us. And he ain't got no back row, so this is. We should have a game because we can go. Basically full combo since we do get, we did draw on the rotor so we can get back another those year and then we just do what we was about to do earlier equip the Durando um, go on the Madra special summon the Ogier send you Ogier I guess just send another gear for it or we just send Joy since we already got a gear for it and we can get the other one in the end phase. Use you to grab back the gear for it, and then we can go into rolling. Oh no, did I pick Charles? I meant to go in the gear for it. I meant to go in the rolling. I picked the wrong card. Oh, I can't even go back. That's fine. Well, that does mess up my play a little bit. Okay, we'll banish you. Oh, I forgot to use the skill too. I'm just messing this whole hand up, but but it is okay. We still can do some things. Um, we should still have game. But no, nah, if we would have used uh, the skill to grab Salamandra, we would have had a game. But we're going to be just a little short, if my math is correct. So battle phase, attack. We'll equip the, his card. 20, yeah. If we had Salamandra, we'd have a game. Or if we would have just ended up going into Roland, because then Roland could have equipped it to the um, Charles, then had enough again. Because that would have gave us an extra 500. Don't mind my misplay. Nah, it's nothing I want to equip. 
Well, during his infest, we can most definitely equip some. Equip the Durando, then activate the Charles to pop it, whatever card he set. And go for guy. One last going second hand. fairly good hand if this is not a if it's a floodgate that's gonna stop us for sure let's see if he got it send a gear free to the girl he does not have floodgate that's good so now oh, I was supposed to go in the, I, oh no I got chair I got you okay I'm, I'm good I'm good I'm good I'm good. I thought I messed up. Good thing I had Heritage in my hand so I can grab out the Dorinda. Because I was supposed to send Dorinda right there. But it all worked out. I go on the rolling. Dorinda effect. Special Summon the Then rolling effect for the NFS. Going to Charles. And then we can use the skill to go into Gear Free. Special Summon the Gear Free, Vanish One. Activate Salamandra. And that can trigger um, Charles to pop a card. We'll pop his back row. Let's see what that is. Okay. So we should have game. Seventeen and yep, we got enough again. Just like that. As you can see, the deck is pretty consistent. Like most of the, like pretty much all them hands, I was able to go into um, Charles and Gear Free. So it's really consistent because the deck does have so many searches. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven searches, and. Ogier is like a semi-searcher because you can always add whatever card that Ogier is sent to the graveyard. You can add that to your hand. So we got a nice amount of searches and having maxing out on gear free. So we see him some of the time too. So we don't even got to search for him, which is good. Um, and really, to be honest, you don't even really need to even play this. You can really play a different skill if you really wanted to because um, it's so easy to search the gear free. And when this come out, this be the first thing I play. I might try to speed card with this. I'll be ready for the uh, WCQ with my normal videos, with my five different decks I play. But yeah, tell me what y'all think. Let me know if there's any other builds y'all want me to try with um, Noble Knights, and I'll try it out before they come out. Um, yeah, like and subscribe.